Oh, I don't think we've been. Ah! Yes! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Excellent. Right now, ow. I ain't letting you get your filthy frickin' blades into my face, my laddo. Oh, well. That was. Ah, yes! That was easy. Right, thank God for that. Um, right, let's go and uh, make our way over. Let's murder this guy. One slash to the back of the head. To be fair, an axe chop to the back of anyone's head. we we'll pretty much finish them off. Right, do we see? Yeah, we've still got enemies everywhere. But that's okay. Yes, the rear stairway. Well, thank God that is over. That took a lot longer than I was hoping. Car brown chap. Let's go. Onwards to victory. In a court. Oh, damn. Look at all the ghouls. Imps. What is the deal with those? Ah, look at them all. Look at all the imps, man. That's really cool. Anyway, what's going on here? So this is your new friend, huh? Well, kind of. It's so filthy, but adorable. Oh yes, Jennifer. There will be an aristocrat club meeting after this. Okay. Today will be the most wonderful day. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, well, it's been all fucking sunshine and roses so far, hasn't it? Alright, what we got here? Jennifer. Pick that. Found the book of the funeral. Once upon a time, a girl found a hole in the ground in the yard. The little people came out and told her the news. Today is the day of your funeral. If you don't like it, then you must sacrifice your friend. Who wants to be buried alive? So the girl did what she had to and buried her best friend. Well, I wouldn't want to be her best friend. Are we going to bury the dog? <laughs> when the girl finished reading the storybook, the dreadful imps had all vanished. Even her dearest friend is nowhere to be found. Okay. Can we not have a look? So we... Is Brown dead? Did they kill Brown? Then the girl thought she heard the cries of her friend calling for help. From where? This time the girl was certain. Ah, oh, calling from above. Like proper above? I guess so. Let's try it. Oh! It's not the girl's dear friend. What happened to him? Was he? Because of the frightened images in her head, the poor girl was n a nervous wreck. Well, he can't do anything. Attic storage. Hmm. Oh. Hey, Brown. It was not the girl's dear friend, this time either. Something terrible has happened to him. Oh. 
shit. This is... Strange tools with fresh blood splatting on them are lying on the table. Really? Fucking hell. Did they, like, slice the dog up? This month's gift. Filthy brown. Dude. That's pretty horrendous, actually. Why did they have Brown killed? I don't know. Maybe? So she was the leader after all. The prince. My friend. Give me back my friend. Nice. No! Go away! Just go away! Never forgive you! Not ever! And as for the rest of you, how could you believe all those lies? Aristocrats! You're just the opposite! I hate you! And I hate you! And you! And I hate myself the very most for playing your Killed her dog and she got a few slaps. She got off lightly. In fact, that's no real punishment at all. Interesting. So, yes. Um, we're now young Jennifer. So, she is remembering all of this. As her adult self. And all the shit they put her through. So... Her best friend, then, basically, was the one behind it all. And in charge. The one that she ran away with. That makes so much... Now we know that she's the little girl. Okay, it suddenly is becoming clear clearer. Right, okay, so we've used all of our save states. How interesting. Little fucker. Well, now we've uh, proved our dominance. Personally, I'd have tied the bitch up, poured petrol on her, and said bon voyage. But hey ho, a few slaps will suffice. Stray dog and the lying princess. Far. <laughs> that is so legit dark, man. They killed Brown. Jesus Christ. That's so fucked up. I'm guessing jealousy. Because she was like, so this is your new best friend. Or your new friend. 
And now we're back to adult Jennifer remembering stuff, I guess. Has Gregory come back to the mansion? At least we're not all filthy anymore. But yeah. We still have no brown. God damn it. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who told lies. She liked to scare the other girls by screaming, Stray dog is coming, stray dog is coming. So was that a lie as well then? But soon, everyone stopped being scared. They hated the way that she lied. One day, the girl came home screaming, Stray dog is coming, really. Everyone thought it was just another lie. Except this time, it was no lie at all. And so they're all gobbled up. Well, the stray dog um, was Gregory. So what? Did he murder all the... Did he snap and murder the children? Is that what this is all about? She's like having traumatic memories. Of the kids being dicks, and then, like, Gregory one day shooting up the place. I have no idea. Well, I, I'm still the most fucked up thing about this is still the fact that they killed the dog. Like, actually properly killed the dog. Like, kids... I mean, kids are arseholes, for sure. But... Jesus, it got to that stage. Tee hee hee. What, really? Really? How tragic. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Yeah, now you bastards respect us. Because we laid the smack down on that bitch. Where's the other one? Uh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Some respect. Only took our friendly dog being murdered. I guess we can't go anywhere there. So, is he coming to kill all these kids? Not on my watch. Why? What do you want? Okay, don't be a mug. What do you want, Amanda? Yes, quite. I don't trust you. Okay, we'll play along for now. Oh, hello. Okay. Um, well, this looks very ominous. These candles are bigger than they are. Take the lolly. Hello. Greetings, Princess. Please forgive all that I've done. Greetings, Princess Jennifer. Thank you very much for coming to our new aristocrat club. Greetings, Princess Jennifer. From now on, you'll be our new princess. 
princess. That's a hell of a promotion. Now, princess, please think up a new game. Please lead us. We are yours to command, princess. Well. Princess, go ahead. Guide us. We need you. We don't know what to do. <laughs> How about don't be dicks to each other? Maybe? Oh. Look, it's Wendy. It's Wendy. <laughs> hmm. Okay. What's Wendy doing? Stray Dog Legend. That's just Wendy's lie. Ah, I see. It's the whole uh, boy, or I guess in this case, girl that cried wolf, isn't it? Now there's actually some danger. Uh, no one believed her. I guess. Alright. Are we going the wrong way? Bloody hell. Is he actually like murdering them all? We're we going outside. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's Joshua. Once upon a time, there was a precious little girl. Uh huh. Right. Well, let's drop a save. Okay. Uh, right, come on, you big bastard. Let's have that, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Sounded like he enjoyed that. Jesus. There we go. Okay. This guy might not actually be that hard. Now, I do know a thing or two about this game that I will explain in a minute. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, we can actually get a couple of hits in. Okay, okay. Don't push our luck too much. My god, the enemy's so weird. It's really weird. There's so much symbolism here. Just sticking the axe up his ass every now. Uh oh, well, Jennifer, that was useless. I think he's going to have a hell of a reach on him. Oh, big boy. Let's get this done. We can go outside. Oh, no. No. Ooh, he charges. Gotta be careful with that charge. Well, I hope he puts up a little bit more of a fight than this. All right, let's get back out here. The mermaid was the hardest thing in the game so far. Come on, buddy. Come on. Anyone would think you don't want to fight. What are you doing, you... He's like, just glitch... Glitching into the wall? Does he want to go outside? This is weird. Yeah, it looks like we can get two swipes in. If we're quick, that is. Unless we're right... Behind... Brown! So Brown isn't dead. 
Right. Come on, Brown. Let's go to work, my lad. A couple of axe chops to the ass. Okay, I'm not 100% sure how much use Brown's going to be here. Uh, oh, actually, we've got loads of health. Um, yeah, because he's not even really doing that much damage to us. Okay. Right. It's alright, Brown. You're alright, lad. I think. Uh oh. Oh, oh, dodge. Right. Chop, chop, dodge. That's how it is, Jennifer. Chop, chop, dodge. Right. You're fucked, me laddo. Oh, look at Brown. Brown's down and out. Actually, Brown. Uh, seems you're back amongst the living and all that. Have one of them. Being dead probably makes you quite hungry. Right, I guess we're going outside. Back to the front gate. Yeah, I'm guessing again, symbolism, they're all dead. Because you wouldn't love me, because you were so stubborn, I brought you here. What's that? Because you fell in love with Brown, because you didn't realise it was me, I brought Stray Dog here. But I, I... Please stop him with this. Only you and your beloved dog can stop him. I'm sorry. What? Jennifer found Gregory's gun. Right. I have been told about this. Um, a safe state. Now, so Wendy was obviously the princess, but Wendy was also disguising herself as the prince, who was a bloke who, I guess, complicated everything. And, um,. She not only killed Brown, I think, but Brown's not dead now, so maybe. Uh, she also let, let Gregory here, and Gregory went on a mass killing and murdering exercise. Now we've got to stop him. Well, okay. Now, someone did tell me. I did get a message through on my Facebook uh, page. Um, there are two endings to the game, depending on what happens here. We can kill Gregory, which we will do. Let's murder Gregory. My god. We've got a good few hits in there. Let's actually use the gun, because why not? Now, we know that Gregory is a little bit doolally anyway. I'm sorry, Josh. Oh. Crap. Okay. Want to use it? Um. Okay. Okay. That's not what I expected to happen, to be honest. Right. Let's just shoot this guy. Can you? S oh, we're dead. Now we died. All right. Let's give that another spin, shall we? Um, equip we want. Oh, she doesn't even like aim. Ooh. Okay, the gun actually feels fairly, uh, fairly good. However, <laughs> I guess one bullet really does not do anything. Okay. So there are two endings. There are a good ending and a bad ending. If we actually kill. Sorry, 
If we kill Gregory here... We get a bad ending. And I assume this is that. Yeah, so this is the bad ending. And that's how the little girl wound up all alone again. She couldn't keep her promise, nor did she save anyone. What a pitiful, unlucky girl. And went delightfully mad, um, apparently. And yeah, there we go. That's like the end of the game. But wait, there's more. Because there is another way of doing this. And I don't know how we do it. I think... I think if we... No, come on, Gregory. Play the game here. Brown's down and out again. Right, let's get some health. Because we're probably actually not that badly wounded. Right, there we go. Right, I think we have to weaken him down a little bit, maybe. Sorry, oh, there we go. There we go. Right, when he does that... Although I think we've missed it. Yeah. Yeah, we have to wait for him to apologise. Damn it. Which looks like it's going to be... Sorry. Okay. Okay. Good, 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 good. Right, now we can... I think use like that. There we go. This is the good ending. We give him his gun back. I'm sorry, Joshua. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. And he kills himself. And that is how we become the sole survivor of the massacre. Hmm. But wait, there's more if you do this ending. If you do this ending, there's another chapter. Which I think is actually really interesting. You get the January 1930, Once Upon a Time. Um, okay, <laughs> okay. Now we're playing as Jennifer, but the real, small Jennifer. Okay. Once upon a time. Let's have a read of this. Okay, there are no actual words. Okay. Um, oh, hello. This letter looks familiar. Yes, it's one of the secret letters that Wendy and I traded. March uh, 25th from W to J. Yeah, so that was Wendy and Joshua. Yeah, see... Joshua... 
was Jennifer. Yeah. My dear Jennifer, there is nothing to fear. I am always by your side. I will never betray you, liar. Uh, we made an oath, remember? My dear Jennifer, I am so relieved that you are well again. Uh, that is why I couldn't find... Oh, is that why I couldn't find you yesterday morning? It's no use trying to fool me. I can see right through your pranks. Anyway, thanks in advance. Tee hee hee. Jennifer, thank you for introducing me to Brown, but such a filthy dog is not a good match for you. And me, just give it to Nicholas or something. And let's just be content with the two of us. So the jealousy... My stubborn Jennifer, is Bran that important to you? It's just a dog, a filthy animal. Please stop sharing your wonderful smile with that thing. Please smile only at me. So it's a tale of jealousy. Jennifer the Heartless, why don't you come? I waited and waited for you. Why can't I see you every morning and think only of you? Are you avoiding me? Wendy... You are always so lonely. Poor lonely Wendy. I wonder if my letters ever reached her. Hmm. Is this the same one again? Yeah. How interesting. Okay. Now what else have we got? Now, I don't really know anything about this chapter. Like I say, I've been avoiding a guide because I don't want to ruin anything, but... Everyone would put their dirty laundry here and it was my job to wash it. How ironic. The one they called filthy washing their filthy clothes. It all seems so silly now. Okay, so this seems to be like... Hmm. Buckle Knight. A makeshift knight that Nicholas and Xavier used for sword practice. Though they may have forgotten about it, I've always remembered. For I yearned to be a loyal knight. To, oh, I for I yearned for a loyal knight to come to my rescue. So is this ironically after the massacre and she's remembering this stuff now but she's portraying herself as a as a little girl I don't know well it doesn't seem like everyone's dead so there's that Now, my notes. Right. There's a diary from the cupboard in the study, apparently. And there's something called the October ticket. And all that does is unlock a... Um, what was the study? It unlocks a costume. Anyone in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, hello. Red bird drawings. A red crayon and a red brooch. A red nose and red blood. Red is the most beautiful colour, yet it comes at a price. It is my most favourite colour and my most hated colour. That's deep, bruh. Okay. Now, I don't know if there's like an end to this. And we've just gone in the same room again. Or, oh, where the hell? The toilet roll just fell down. Or what? So we're just going to explore everywhere. 
Can we go outside, I wonder? Oh, we can. There's Wendy. I have a really? Right, let's go talk to Wendy. Oh, shit. She, like... Okay, I thought she's like, burying all the bodies or something. So I'm taking it, this is like, bef before? During happier times? Okay. Right. Now that diary, the one, uh, I think that's the one we just read. Let's go upstairs because I think the October ticket is upstairs. I'm not 100% sure though. I wonder if we can find any of the other kids. I don't know. So we can hear them. Oh, there we go. Nope. Jennifer. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, look, it doesn't look like there's anyone else here apart from Wendy, so this is... Hmm. Peter the Rabbit. He was the pet that Wendy suddenly decided to take care of. It was about the same time it start, uh, I started looking after Brown. I wonder if Wendy really loved Peter. Was she sad when she had to give him up? Hmm. So basically, she looked after Peter just because we had Brown. Probably nothing else in it. Can't search any. I don't want to miss anything actually because there's a lot of. Or at least it seems like there's going to be a lot of extra uh, flavour around here. Clara was a quiet person. To me, she looked like just another student at the orphanage. Except when she spoke to Mr Hoffman or Martha, then she looked scary. I wonder if I'll be like Clara when I'm older. I'll in will I enjoy those days? Hmm. Well, someone's pretending to be a pig. There's nothing in there. Sounds like someone's crying. Let's have a look on the balcony. Anybody or anything to search out here? Yeah. The red bird in the cage. The doll Eleanor treasured. Uh, if only we could fly like birds, we could go wherever we wished, she whispered softly. Yet, no matter how much Eleanor wished, she would never be able to fl uh, just fly away from this orphanage. Poor Eleanor. She was burdened by her own frozen heart. Yeah, notice how the, the bird is dead. Um, at least it looked like it's a bit hard to tell with the graphics, but it looked like the bird was dead. Peter was dead. So... I'm guessing this is set like after the event. Which makes things pretty interesting. Let's go upstairs. I'm not sure where this October ticket is. I have a feeling it's up in the attic. Maybe not. No. 
Okay, I don't really want to leave without it. I suppose it doesn't matter too much because we have the power of save states, so we can always return. Let's have a look in the play area. Thomas was always playing with his trains. They were his only friends. There were no final stops on this railroad, for that would be devastating to him. It's rumoured that this obsession had something to do with his birth, but Thomas never spoke about it with anyone. Hmm... No one really played with the toys here because they were all old. Only Thomas was the master of this room. A new girl, a new girl. He exclaimed when we first met. He seemed to enjoy teasing me. What a dick. This has some beautiful music. This is really, really good. Hmm. Right, let's just keep exploring. I think it's just... Ah, the library. This should be good. It's the stuffed goat. The white goat Mary and the black goat Sally. When Meg found her letter to Diana torn apart... She was deeply wounded and cried in Diana's arms. Even though she was the one who ripped it up and when Meg's notebook was found, all scattered about, Diana made fun of her, saying Mary and Sally must, must have ate it. Poor Meg. She was burdened by the shackles of foolish devotion. Yes, well, we've all been there. The future that people dreamt of never came and was soon forgotten. Forgotten From the blue skies of hope, it sank into the depths of oblivion. The new life born from it was an existence devoid of hope. It slowly wriggles its large body and stares at the sky with a remorseful look. That's its only purpose. So it's talking about the blimps and things. How they never came to fruition. Thanks to some spectacularly uh, bad mishaps. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep going. But there are talk of um, airships and blimps and that kind of things making a comeback just because they're really efficient and um, oh sewing room we can now make them with non-combustible gases and things have we already been in here? I think so oh no Amanda was fond of using the sewing machine when she got absorbed into something she'd think nothing else yeah especially sewing which was always on her mind if we ran out of cloth or thread, she would just sew rags with an empty needle over and over and over again. And then she'd smile at the tattered rag with satisfaction. Okay, whatever, whatever makes you happy, I guess. Um, where next? I think that's the way we came. Yeah. Trouble is, when you come out of these rooms, like the camera angles are different. This game would have been a little bit better if it had a fixed camera angle. Kind of like Resident Evil. Easier to navigate, anyway. Can we not look at that? 
check out the dorm, see what we have in here. It's got to be something. At least one thing. The night was quiet and dark. The night was quiet, dark and scary. Yet it was a mysterious time that aroused excitement. Some nights we'd stay awake in secret, hiding from the teacher and draw pictures by lamplight. It made us feel very much like adults, something not possible during the day. Mm. It's kind of interesting seeing this game like kind of through a child's um, logic. A mermaid doll. Proud and pure creature. Diana yearned to become a beautiful lady, like a mermaid. Like a mermaid? Why? Uh, but as she grew older, she realised that she was straying further and further from her ideal self. Poor Diana. She was trapped by her own ideals. You know, these kids, be considering their kids, they all seem to be dealing with some heavy adult level shit. Is weird. Hmm. Okay. Right, guys. I'm going to leave it here. When we come back. Oh, hello. Can we search that? No. When we come back, um, it will probably be the last video of this because we will finish off um, exploring and uh, we'll find our. October ticket, and then we shall end this game. Hmm. Really, really interesting game. Um, I think... I think this game could have been genuinely really big if they didn't, like, screw up the combat. And to be 100% honest... The controversy around this game destroyed it in a big way as well. Oh, excuse me. Because um, it was actually pulled from the UK. The UK wouldn't sell it because um, for some reason they thought it was about rape and um, like raping schoolgirls or some shit like that. Uh, I pff, no idea where they got that from. Uh, that is a complete mystery to me. Um, and they said something about you have to go around murdering school children. Again, not really. <laughs> um, interesting controversy with this game. It's definitely one of those games, like, for instance, when Manhunt came out, you know, Manhunt had a lot of controversy. Um, for, well, I don't want to say good reason because it wasn't good reason, it was a load of old shit. But you could understand with Manhunt <clears throat> and GTA and um, like the Call of Duty um, mission. I can't remember which Call of Duty it was, but the one where you shoot up innocent people. Um, stuff like that, you can kind of understand it. But the controversy surrounding this game literally makes no sense at all. It's complete garbage, which is a shame. Because this game really comes together at the end. It actually like goes from being quite a medical game, and I guess actually, when if you're looking at it mechanically, it's very medical. But from from a story perspective, it's really good, really, really good, and interesting and thought provoking, which is something you don't really get. Um, gameplay wise, I guess it is a bit pants even for the time. But the actual story is fantastic. It's a shame a lot of people have missed out on it. I'm glad I've played it. Anyway, guys, before I blab on too long, um, when we come back, final part. Thanks for watching.